What's going on internet? Today is April 16th, 2024, and if my calendar is correct, that means that Overwatch 2 Season 10 is now here and we're able to play it. I've played Overwatch for probably seven years at this point, and I have had the time of my life playing it. But I also know that not everybody sometimes thinks that, and this game has had quite a polarizing history to say the least. And so I just wanted to sit down and talk for a moment and just ask the question, is Overwatch 2 really fun to play? And as we're going into Season 10, if you're somebody who hasn't played before, is now a good time to get into the game? So let's have a conversation for a bit. Also, while you're here, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that way you can stay updated on any videos that we upload here on this channel. All right, without further ado, let's talk. I think the best place to start at is honestly where Overwatch is right now. Overwatch 2 Season 10 has just dropped, and it's really cool to see the devs continue to breathe life into this game time after time after time. Not only do we have Venture, our new DPS hero, to join the roster, which is... Forget about touching grass! I need to touch rocks! I need to go into caves! I need to dive into the ground! I need to go in there! I'm going in! Interesting. We have a brand new game mode called Clash, where it's essentially almost like 5 CP, I guess is the way that you'd want to describe it. And then we also have a bunch of new quality of life updates, from competitive changes to being able to group with your friends and comp regardless of your rank, to a brand new system for unlocking Mythic skins, one of the premier skins in Overwatch 2, without having to rely on completing the battle pass every season or getting locked out of it for the rest of eternity. Overall, it's shipping up to be a great season, and even though it is literally day one of it releasing, I'm looking forward to seeing what ends up happening because of it, whether good or whether bad, just seeing how the game continues to move forward as an entity. Say what you want about Overwatch, but I think that it's really important to look at the fact that no matter what has come its way, the devs, and especially now, are continuing to power through and to put more and more love, time, and care into the game that they have right in front of them. And so if you've never played this game before in your life, or if you've never attempted to play a shooter and you saw Overwatch because it was free to play and you're like, maybe I should play it, then I do think that it could be a great time for you if you decided to get into it or grab your friends and play with a five stack and just have a good time. Honestly, one of the biggest strengths of the game since day one of when I played it was that no matter who you are, you can find a character that you can attach yourself to and fall in love with that character. That's only highlighted even more now that we're in Overwatch 2 with way more heroes added to our roster. There is literally somebody for everybody in this game. And if you don't have a hero that you like, I don't know what's wrong with you because there is literally literally such a large roster in this game that it's insane and it's only getting bigger literally every other season. <laughs> now when it comes to having your favorite heroes there is also the other underlying part about the game where right now that it feels like there is a huge balance issue where certain heroes just are very how do we say flavor of the month-esque. And while I am nowhere near qualified to talk about the in-depth nature of the balancing mechanics of this game and how it functions, I do think that there is something that I appreciate about what the devs try and do, even now with Overwatch 2, that I really do commend, and that is just consistently shaking it up. Obviously, there's a discussion to be had about whether or not the state of the game is currently healthy after the transition from 6v6 to 5v5, and this is not a conversation to talk about that. There are far more qualified people than me to have that kind of conversation. What I do appreciate, though, is that in the state of the game that we have right now, the devs are consistently going through time and time again and trying to change up things in regards to community feedback. This is absolutely huge for the game. There are so many people who will just let a game stay the exact same from season to season and nothing changes in between then. You might have one hot fix here and there that fixes a super minute thing, but you won't have anything like a mid-season patch or a hotfix patch to address major issues that are apparent with large portions of the roster. And that's something that I appreciate about this dev team right now. From content creators to overall community on forums, they are listening to people and are taking their responses and taking the feedback that they get and applying it into how they look at the game. Does that mean that they fix the issue of counter swapping? Absolutely not. Does that mean that they fix the issue of tanks not being super dynamic? No, absolutely not. There's still those issues that exist in the game, but it has to be said that they are trying their hardest with the state of the game that they have right now. And so where I end up seeing that as a positive end is that every single time that I see an update from the devs, whether or not I like it or not, what I appreciate is that they are going for it. Let's be honest, there are some times where the Overwatch dev team absolutely hits with their changes and what they make. And then there are times where they 
do not. And honestly, for me, I enjoy that because whether it's a good update or a bad update, it's something that shakes it up to a way where I know I'm not playing the same game that I did probably three months ago. And that's something that keeps me enticed with wanting to come back time and time again. Speaking of the things you do time and time again, since the release of Overwatch 2, we have now had three completely different game modes released into the game. Push, Flashpoint, and Clash. That makes a total of six different game modes in Overwatch 2. And honestly, I love that. I don't know if this is a hot take or anything, but I actually do enjoy the variety of game modes that are at my disposal whenever I play. Each game mode is tackled a little bit differently than the other one that came before it, and so each game you have to treat a little bit differently and approach them from a different angle as you would if you were doing something like Clash in comparison to Flashpoint, or Flashpoint in comparison to Control. Each of them have their own unique experiences within them. On top of a lot of maps, which although some are questionable, the devs have already promised that they're going to be going through and reworking a lot of the maps that the community has spoken out against to breathe new life into the maps that we've grown accustomed to. And I like that. It means that we won't have to deal with the same crap that we do from map to map for years on end. And there's a promise that if there's an issue that the community speaks out against, then the devs are going to listen and as time moves on, they're going to respond and help and fix the map so that way it can be healthier for the community. Which, speaking of, the rank changes that they made for this season are super cool when it comes to being able to play with your friends and enjoy the game together. Now in Overwatch, if you're of a large rank discrepancy between you and your friend, you can still group into competitive play together. The game creates what's called wide skill groups and creates it so that way that you can still have a challenge going up against somebody of your skill level, but your teammate who could be at a lower or higher skill level can also have somebody closer to them in their role next to their rank. So that way that there's still this level of competitiveness to when you're playing these comp games. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I am incredibly skeptical about how well this is going to go, but the idea of it is magnificent. To have the ability to enjoy this game mode that both you and your friends play, and there are some times where you're not able to fully play together because you're too high rank for them, or one person is afraid of losing in a grouped competitive game because they're so high rank and they don't want to throw, and so sometimes they have to create alternate accounts in order to play with their friends, and now no longer are these issues going to be apparent. Hopefully. Again, it is day one, and so I could upload this, and it could be completely trash, and everything that I say could be completely thrown out the window. And along with that, I am 100% skeptical about the nature of the grouping because Overwatch ranking has felt like really weird along the years. But again, it's that idea that they're trying this. And the heart of what they're trying to do is really good for the longevity of the game as they continue to dial in and tweak and figure out how these things work. But you know what doesn't need to work? You know what doesn't need to be dialed in? You know what they could just throw and just have? And it could be completely trash and it's amazing? Is the limited time modes that they've started releasing within the past year. We're just coming off of the April Fool's patch where a majority, if not all, the roster had completely normal, completely balanced, nothing game-breaking, nothing broken level changes to many of your beloved heroes. And that was super cool because it was something that is just, they were having fun with the game. They were having fun with their design and they were just letting the community run wild with it. Before that, we had Quick Play Hack where they brought back the ability to stack heroes within your role. And that led to some insane combinations that I think would never be healthy for the game and would completely destroy all level of balance, but it was still fun to have for a weekend. Or just now with season 10, Mirror Watch, the new limited time mode, where the literal heroes get swapped from good guy to bad guy and have abilities change to fit the role that they're in now. I think that that's insane because all it is is just the devs being like, okay, what can we do to shake things up a bit? Some of these things might we use for playtesting, sure, but they're just having fun along the way with design and whether it's an April Fool's patch, a quick play hack, or a limited time mode such as Mirror Watch, these are things that are short and sweet and you enjoy them for the time that they're there and then they're gone and you appreciate the time that you had with them. In a world where the devs are saying that Overwatch is trying to be this hyper competitive game, I do appreciate that there are still very, very, very much moments where we can try to just enjoy the game and have fun with the roster, where it doesn't have to be this sweat fest of competitiveness, where we can enjoy playing even competitive games with our friends without fear of losing our rank, where we can hop into limited time modes with our friends and just go crazy with the things that they add to modify the stats in the game. Overall, I think that this game has been finding its footing, and a lot of finding its footing involves just 
going forward and regardless of if the step that you make is the right one, continuing to walk forward with the next step and moving forward beyond that. No matter how bad it might be, no matter how dumb a quick play hack might be, no matter how unbalanced a hero or a map might look, they continue to press forward season in and season out because that is the level of love and dedication that the devs have for this game and their community. Don't get it twisted. This game still has a ways to go. There's still things that are issues. There's still fundamental problems that exist within the game, but that doesn't detract from the fact that this game is still a blast to play with your friends. Whether it's doing something as silly as a custom or sweating your absolute hardest trying to get your rank up in competitive. But what do you think? Are you having fun with Overwatch right now? And I know that there might be a lot of nuance to that topic, but I really want to explore that because I feel like there's such a diverse community within Overwatch, regardless of how people see it, whether to be this competitive game or to be this casual game, that there's a lot of different types of people that enjoy Overwatch. And so I'm just curious as to what are the things that when you boot up the game, you're enjoying the most about when you're playing? What are the things that you don't like when you're playing? Let me know down in the comments below and let's have a conversation about what are the parts of this game that we enjoy the most. Let me know what you think. All right, well, that's enough of me. So I'm going to let you guys go. Until next time, guys, have a good one. See ya.